Hello everyone, and welcome back to Space Engineers. I'm your host, Val Death, and we're going to continue our uh, playing of the tutorial series here with tutorial number two, Inventory and Terminals. Um, from what it talks about, I think we did a good amount of this last time. Uh, introduction to player cargo inventories, how to add withdraw items, and in basic initiation control panels and terminals for controlling block functions. I kind of mentioned it all last time, but we'll go through what they have um, real quickly here. Alright, here we are. I'm going to go ahead and keep the hints on the game screen down here up for now as we move through the tutorials. But once I start playing a world of my own, we'll, uh, we won't have this up anymore. Okay, there we are. Brand new. Ah, cool. So we'll go through all this stuff. Alright, numero uno. Pick up some of the rockets below by looking at them and pressing T. You can see them in your inventory by pressing I. Rockets. So here's the I button. Here's our personal inventory. So it's just like a terminal for me instead of another block. And here's we got our select things here. I don't have any control panels for myself, production. I'll have a faction, some calm stuff for talking. But most of this is inventory now. Inventory, inventory full. full. There you go right there, inventory full. Approach the square conveyor hatch on the rear of this missile block. You'll see a yellow square with triangles in each corner. Like that. Uh, selected it. Then press K to access the inventory. Your personal inventory is on the left, and the rocket launcher is on the right. So drag the missiles in. Alright, so let's load, load this sucker up. There we go. Loaded. It's got a reactor with 50 uranium. fire. When you've loaded the rocket launcher, press the second button to fire, blast a hole in the stone wall so you can walk through. So again, we saw these last time, a button panel. This middle button here is to configure all the buttons, but I'm sure I cannot access it. Oh, I can. Hmm. Interesting. Control panel talks about the buttons, what they do down here. Huh. Cool. Rocket launcher, shoot once. Oops. Oh, it wasn't supposed to keep shooting. But that's okay. Let's move on through. And sprint. Okay, if you necessary, you can recharge your suit energy using the seat. Press T. And then you can the seat to sit down. And you're fine. Uh, try not to walk on the components, they could get kicked away. There should be 15 steel plates. Bunch of stuff. Pick up the components below and load them into the cargo container nearby. The lights will turn off when you've picked up all five component stacks. So let's try not to break them. Like so. Oh, it's a little bit of ink. Okay, there we go. We've got all the things. Sensor, turn it on. Alright, approach closely, look at the center of the car container, you see a yellow square. Drag all the goodies in there. Yeah, just like we saw before. Or I can just shift click on them and they get moved over into that inventory. Okie dokie. When you've loaded the components to the container, press the one button to turn the welder on. The welder, welder will automatically pull the components through the conveyor system. Activate the piston with button 4 when the welder has finished constructing it. Cool, so we can see up there the welder. The items will move through this conveyor, this tube here, up into there to the welder to be made. Make something. See it building that thing up using the components. There we go, now we're activating that block, pressing down the walkway. Cool. You need the components in your inventory to be able to place blocks. To place light armor requires steel plate. 
Withdraw steel plate from this card container. Add it to your inventory. 50 steel plates. Alright. Okay, so you need components in inventory to replace blocks. Armor plates for it. Place armor blocks above this panel to make a bridge around the other side. Add the light armor blocks to your toolbar by pressing G, dragging them to your bar, and left click to place. Okay, so we're making a little bridge here. As you can see, there's a frame of a block like I was talking about before, before we weld them together. So we open up G, light armor block requires uh, 25 steel plates to build it fully, but not just to place it initially. So you can see it's lighting up where it's going to go, and I'm just moving the mouse. And now you can see in the top right, the home and page up, page down, delete, page down, arrows are showing you how you can rotate the block. But in, in this case, it really isn't going to make much of a difference, because it's just an armor block. Place it, boom, there we go. Now, I would need to uh, get my welder out and add components to fill in this block and make it complete. But just by doing that, I can walk on it. And that's what this is trying to tell us. So we go ahead and place another one, right? I'm gonna look at our block. Now we're down to 49 plates. It took one plate just to lay that outline. Another one. Place it on that one. Hmm. Rotating it around, but that doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, maybe because there's something right underneath? I don't know, to be honest. I should be able to place it there. But it won't let me. Alright, well. For now, I'm just going to jump across. Oh, maybe. So I wonder why I can't place it there. It's saying because of the block next to it is red. Place it off this way. Oops, okay. Zero to clear my hand. So maybe I just need to, um... Make the bridge a different little way, just because that's just gonna be problems here. Sure, why can't do that? It's just trying to run across, run and jump. There we go. Okay, access the control panel and locate the small reactor. Click the button labeled on to supply power to the connected station. Control panels may be found on many different blocks. They work the same way and give system access to connected blocks. The blue panel below is the control panel. Access it by looking at it and pressing K. When I turn station power on, new instructions will appear there. Okay. So, okay. Control panel. Small reactor. So, this is all the components. Toggle blocks, it was off. Now it's outputting power. And there we go. Now that power is on, access the control panel and locate the group Rotors Bridge. Press the button labeled Reverse and exit by pressing K to see the effects. Groups are a way to apply settings to collections of blocks. They always display the top of the control panel and are marked with asterisks. Cool, so we'll extend a bridge. That's kind of neat. Rotor bridge. And we'll reverse. Get out and watch it come down. Cool.
just showing how the reactor, I can't get up there to touch it, so I need to use the control panel to turn it on. Cool, draw bridge. I guess we're done. Awesome. So pretty simple, I think, I don't think there's really anything in there that we didn't know from Objective last time. Complete. Uh, to be honest. So we don't really necessarily need this tutorial. Note to developers. Alright, let's move on to the next one.